video i am just going to explain you about the triangle you know triangles have three sides and three angles how will you program then what will you do with mathematics if you do not know how to program it so the learn programming learn mathematics together have a nice time subscribe to our channel and grow with us back to the code so now here in this uh, example i'm just trying to explain you that a uh, triangle as you all know that triangle have got three sides and uh, they have got three angles and uh, you can find the area you can find the perimeter you can find the but how will you find the angles and what you can also establish the congruency between the objects of the similar type in this program is trying to explain you that how you can create a class called triangle where you can add the features so that all kind of triangles can be manifested on the same line so i have declared three variables a b c these represents the size of triangles and the capital a capital b capital c these represents the angles of a triangle and you all know that in a mathematical notation the vertices of the triangles are represented by capital letters and the size suppose them are represented with the small letters so first i create a my constructor here its name is triangle and then i pass three values all double type because uh, there should not be differences in the type so the double x double y double z so the a will take the value of x or you can say the x value is assigned to a so it's called a equals to x means x will be assigned to a y's value will be assigned to b and z value will be assigned to c so then uh, you can create many functions but i would like to create only few so now the next functions i'm just trying to create its name is uh, void cal and uh, then i'll just try to find one more which is void show or uh, you can um, now i can close the body of the class and then i'll define them outside the body of the class because i don't want them to behave like a inline function so this is now definition for the cal so the void triangle scope resolution operator cal and then i declared some temporary variables because they will just act as a value holder i'll just keep some values in them and you can also call them as my scratch pad where i'll store my intermediate results so the double x will be i'll be using the values of trigonometry cosine rule for finding out this uh, uh, angles where i'll use b into b plus c into c minus a square upon 2bc 2 into b into c this is a cosine rule and uh, in mathematics uh, this is called cosine rule and here we have a file called the math.h and that math dot h have a function called a cos a cos means you know in trigonometry is called sine trigonometrical functions or trigonometrical ratio sine cos tan cot these are called the trigonometrical ratios they generally take the value and they give out the uh, value of those ratios so you just give them some values so like cos a a is the angle and they take give you the ratio now there is also so the trigonometric ratios are the uh, trigonometric functions which takes in angle and they give you the numerical value for those angles and those values actually represents the ratio of two sides and uh, of a right angle triangle obviously and um, there is another functions called the inverse function which takes in the value of the um, sides so or you can see the ratio and the value and uh, it gives you that and there i am trying to explain you how it works now let's back to mathematics now this is a triangle and uh, we have a general this is the standard established notation that the vertices are written with the capital letters so capital a capital b and the side opposite the capital a small a side opposite capital b small b and c now the cosine rule says that cos a so vertex a means the angle a is held by two sides which are b and c so the rule says you write b square plus c square the sides in the sum of the square of the sides 
holding these two angle minus a square which is opposite side so b square plus c square minus a square upon 2bc the same technique you can apply for other sides so the angle a is held by b and c just look at the angle a is held by b and c so b square plus c square minus the side opposite that angle that is a so b square plus c square minus a square upon two times the product of only those sides which are holding that angle that is 2bc same way we can write cos this is a square plus c square minus b square upon 2ac this is cos b now b will be cos inverse and in our c++ compiler we have a function called a cos this is different than a cos function this is a cos so a cos takes the value of c square plus b square minus a square upon 2bc and that gives you the value of a in radian so this is how it works so that formula i'll be using in my application that is to find out the angle using cosine rule and this is say the pi radian pi radian is the 180 degrees and the radian is the real value and the these are not so degrees are not the real numbers so these are different mechanisms but you need to convert them using the relation pi radian is 180 degree and one radian is 180 divided by pi which is 22 by 7 or you can say 3.14 a uh, correct up to two places of decimal then how to find the area of this triangle when you can use harrow's formula if you do not know the harrow's formula then you can use trigonometry which says that area of triangle is half product of the two sides and the sine of angle between them so half bc sine a so the area of triangle is half bc sine a when you are considering the these two sides if you just want to go otherwise then you can write half ac sine b or you can write half bc sine c so this is the same thing you have three formula but all will give you same now back to the code so i have already written ax equal to b square plus c square minus a square upon 2bc bx equal to this and i'm putting them so capital a equal to a cos and the value of bx capital b equal to a cos value of bx so that's why i have named them also ax bx so that i can relate them to vertex a and b so now these are the three sides now a capital a capital b and capital c will be holding the value of the angle but in radian now i try to write the show function which will just show me the result of uh, the angles and the uh, area okay you can write many functions you can write uh, some other functions like whether the triangle is possible because the property of this uh, triangles also says that uh, whatever user enters that doesn't make it a triangle triangle is a um, combination of three sides which hold in such a way that sum of two sides is greater than the third side so the criteria for that is a plus b greater than c c plus b greater than a and the a plus c greater than b that should also hold true because any three sides any three numbers representing the sides fed into the system cannot make it a triangle because those who have studied geometry they know that uh, a triangle is formed with the three sides if and only if sum of the two sides of it is greater than the third side but I'm not including that, but I'm just trying to say that you can include that also and there is no big deal. It's all up to you how big and how uh, you want to make the program. So now I include one more variable that will represent the area. So here it is double A R. Okay. When I write program then I feel like I can create a huge things with the same idea but then the mind suggests what will be the use and uh, that's why i just try to see since it is a, a 
tutorial for education purpose so that's why i try to keep it kind of fine small video so that students can understand however always keep this in your head that anything and everything can be programmed so i have multiplied it by 180 and divided by pi so that uh, you can see that uh, this can be converted into radian now i am just uh, copying pasting so that i'm trying to see that how you can print those values because right now we have three sides three angles and the area of the triangle so now i remove this unnecessary part and then i just try to complete this then inside the main functions i will take three variables okay this part yeah body closed now i declare three double type of variables and then user will be entering them i'll just try to make it a simple one two line code because i don't want to waste because the purpose is to teach the programming logic of how to find the angles so that i create three variables double x double y double z and the user will enter the three sides c out enter the three sides in one line you can also write some people prefer to write like angle the first side angle the c in then a c out angle the second side c in like one by one they are accepting they makes a pretty but it just waste of time also now here the triangle i create one object of triangle tr and pass three sides x y z and then i with the help of tr i'll call the function cal and then with the help of tr i'll call the function show just hope that everything goes well that i get ch and the main function have the tag in so it's return zero is also essential here in this case now let me just complete one error is there and this error is c plus plus error it says that the program io stream have some problem but fine these kind of problems can be avoided i just make certain changes and then hopefully this problem will not be there now this says that io stream it means i don't have one essential file which is uh, error directions must use C++ for the type iustream.h this is the pop of suggesting error methods now I everything here is cool no problem sometimes the compile or compiler also gives glitches so you just write them in a certain sequence and then you'll find it's okay so now 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 let me see the thing output is still not available and yeah everything looks okay so this is called debugging debugging means this is called the compile time error because the it's just throwing you on fatal error and the compilation is not done means the object file is not created so you need to debug it because if you ha have syntactical error or the compile time error then the pro oh yeah this extra bracket is of no value again this one error is this same error okay just give me once two seconds i'll find out the answer so the enter save all i think because the file name is q3.c that may be a problem because i use stream and the file extension in the c++ program should be .cpp so i just try to copy it everything and then i'll just write it in some other format where i will um, give it the extension .cpp this is the problem this is the file name is q3.c and it is a c++ program so that's why the compiler is confused what to do so i just create a new file and the copy paste all these things now becomes the no name 00.cpp and if i run and now let me just run it and then i'm just saving it as um now see trick.cpp some file is already present overwrite it now no such error yes the error was you were 
writing a C++ program and the name of the file you are given is uh, dot C so that's why it was not accepting now here uh, some error is there because uh, it just started giving the result yes yes first let me clear the screen and there you see error is not there but the output is still on there so when you pop it up now see the results are coming and it's not accepting any value from the user I mean, there's something problem in the main functions where i'm receiving data from the user now let's see see out oh my god here i have written everything in one line that is line is on it's wrong it should be c in because for every c out there should be some c in now there should be the shift operator also should be changes it is c out shift director now c in yes now change the order because the c in it should be greater than greater than kind of that's called the shift operator right shift left shift operators and now everything is fine here i entered the size now everything is pretty but the angles are coming in radians if you want to see angles in degrees then you have to convert them by using the formula that the one radian is 180 upon pi it means multiply it by 180 and divide by pi which is 3.14 pi have a very large number of decimal places till it is correct and we are taking only 3.14 so it will give some approximated value not the exact value because pi also is not and this program this c++ compiler have some limitations now now you see angles will be proper so i enter some sides which i can check so i enter 6 8 10 right angle triangle so the one angle is 90.4 little more than 90 degree that is because of approximation and area part i think is still wrong so for area i am using the formula half a b sin c so for that i need to make changes because this is in degree it should be in radian so now area becomes half a b sin c now it's radian c is also in the radian there is no problem with that so let's okay make it cx or cx will be better because a is in degrees okay i just enter c let's see three four five and it is roughly 5.92 so this is fine so that that angle was taken in the degree form also but it should be a double value so now this program is completed thank you very much just subscribe to our channel and grow with us have a nice time